Hey, Allie. Well, the Warriors had an unusual opportunity. Retain a championship core while adding star caliber youngsters. To maximize their success, the team has invested heavily in player development. That requires some changes in the coaching staff, but Brian, the new energy and the ideas have been a positive. All right, Allie, thanks. A look at the 76ers starting group. Up front, it's Tucker at the four, next to Embiid in the middle. Tyrese Maxey is out there with James Harden. And it's Harris in at the small forward position. And for the Warriors, the core of the dynasty all on the floor. Curry and Clay, the guards, with Draymond up front at the four. Kevon Looney is out there with Andrew Wiggins. And Clark, looking at last year's Sixers team, they were last in the NBA in offensive rebounding. And also last in field goal attempts. And those go hand in hand. If you're not taking a lot of shots, and you're not going to have a chance for a lot of offensive rebounds. That puts tremendous pressure on your offense when you're not getting second shots. I expect them to really emphasize crashing the offensive boards this season. Now here's Curry. That one's good from Green. And the assist by Wiggins. Andrew Wiggins, the former first overall pick, showing off his passing skills there. Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. He knew exactly where his man was going to be. Outstanding lead pass. Wiggins finds Curry. Back to Wiggins. Thompson passes to Looney. It's stolen by Maxi. Pass to Harris. Here's Embiid, defended by Thompson. Back to Harris. Three-pointer, no good. Curry against Harden. Looney passes to Curry. 56 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. And here is Thompson, five to shoot. Over Harris. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Clean look from mid-range. Coach will probably want to run that play again. Yep, that one goes. Harris, Harris has really become much more adept at finishing hard shots. Great focus there. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. The aggressive take there to get inside. They're looking to make things happen to try and take control of this game. And again, no good by Golden State. The 76ers have gone two of three from the floor. Here's Maxi. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Wiggins. Curry passes to Looney. Here's Wiggins. Fires from deep. Hits the trifecta. An excellent score off the dribble. Wiggins starting to excel in the catch and shoot game, too. Harden, the pass to Embiid. Shot from the low post is good. Embiid's gotten his second bucket. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Sixers ahead. They're up by three. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. Fans, give it up for your Warrior youth. And if you're just joining us, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. All right, guys, what's your take on the Sixers so far? You can really see the strategy coming in. Get the ball into the painted area. Yeah, and it's worked. They've got a clear edge and points in the paint. Now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack or just keep on pounding it inside. You know, one expression you hear from a lot of coaches nowadays threatening drives. What's the value of breaking the paint? B.A., dribble penetration is so important, particularly in today's game. With the spacing and the great shooting on the perimeter, if you can get to the paint, one, you may score at the rim, but if the defense collapse, now you have an opportunity to find an open shooter from three. And the 76ers, looking at who they've got. Montrez Harrell is out there with George Niang. Then there's McDaniels. Then there's DeAnthony Melton. And it's Milton in at the one. Now here's DiVincenzo. Pull for three. And it's Niang with a rebound. 121 left in the second. George Niang, not a guy who sees a bunch of minutes, but he certainly makes the most of opportunities as they come his way. Here's Melton. 
And there's the foul. They'll pin that one on Andre Iguodala. That's his first foul. And the Warriors making a switch here. Payton's checked in. Coming on to the floor for your Warriors. Gary Payton, the second. And about a minute gone in the second quarter. Here's Niang. He's watched by Kaminga. Shot clock at five. Here's Milton. No luck on that one. The Warriors go the other way with it. DiVincenzo has to pull. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Good find that time by DiVincenzo. An unselfish player always looking to make the extra pack. 36 seconds left to play in the first half. Back to Melton. Poole against Melton. From deep three-point range. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Poole outside. From eight feet. That one drops for him. Poole's gotten four this quarter. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. Milton for three. Sinks it. What range from downtown. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Sixers ahead. They lead by two. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Thanks, guys. I'm here with Doc Rivers and Coach. You guys came out aggressive in the first half. What stood out to you? You know, we're getting to the paint and making plays. They're a great team as far as rotation, so we just got to make the right passes. It all starts with attacking the basket. Thanks, Doc. Thank you, Allie. Good stuff. We will be right back after this break for the beginning of the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. For the 76ers, the first quarter was pretty even. And trying as they might, they couldn't push their lead past four points. The second quarter saw them lose just a fraction of the lead they held at the end of the first, as they're now ahead by two points at the half. And from what we saw so far from the Sixers, Kenny, what's your takeaway? Playing on the road is having no effect on this team. I mean, between your planes, the hotels, the buses, it's a crime. It can drop your energy level. But right now, they look like a fresher team. And we'll see if they hit the wall in the second half. And Shaq, what do you have to say about the Warriors? Well, their pain presence was non-existent. They haven't put any pressure on the defense in terms of attacking the cup. And... And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. Here's Harden. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Yeah, you know, after a couple down years with key players injured, it's safe to say the Cold State Warriors are back. The core of the dynasty all on the floor. Curry and Clay, the guards, with Draymond up front at the four. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Kevon Looney. And that's the group for Steve Kerr as we begin the second half. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. Yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. The Warriors are back to contending Tobias for championships. Harris. Yes, they are. To A testament to James their perseverance Harden. and belief in themselves. They knew once they got healthy, they would be a threat. And they've been a fun team to watch as they get back to full. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And Curry is always a threat to shoot, which is why defenses sometimes get too aggressive guarding him. Stephen Curry taking two shots. Two 
First one falls for him. You know, in the past several seasons, there's been one constant with the 76ers. They're going to be among the best defensive teams in the league. Both shots good from the strike. The Sixers' identity really does center around their defense. It's so true, B.A., and they've done a great job playing to their strengths. That's the key for any contending team. Maximize your players' talents. Philly has done that as well as anybody. Here's Maxi. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Thompson outside. Pass to Wiggins. Over Harris. Wiggins, no good. The 76ers have gone three of three in the second half. And then Hart with the chance. Boy, that was a masterful read from the talented Harden. I mean, he's at his best when he's attacking in the open court. Nobody better. Curry against Harden. Outside, Green. The rebound by Embiid. The Sixers leading. If they take their time, this will be the final possession of the quarter. Yeah, they've got to hold for the last shot here. Right Credit them for making the right halftime adjustments. You know, they came out of the locker room, revved up the gas pedal, and haven't slowed down yet. Here's Curry. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two James free throws Harden. for him coming up. First personal foul. James Harden picks Second one up. Foul. Yeah, fearless play from Curry inside. Going up against tough defense Devin and getting fouled Curry. while shooting. Two shots. Falls for Curry. So many of the hopes for this team rest on Curry's shoulders. It's an immense responsibility, but he carries it out with fire and optimism. Both good from the line that time. Two part equation. You have to be aggressive enough to get to the line, then talented enough to sink them. Harden from outside. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. And so it's Philadelphia up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. They know Curry can go for 50, 60 any night. So they're forcing someone else to beat him. More 2K action in just a moment. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. You can count on him to deliver a few assists like this one each and every night. It sure is. I mean, he's a maestro. Great vision, terrific IQ, everything you want in a point guard. With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. And the 76ers, looking at who they've got. We've got Daniel House, James Harden out there with the Anthony Melton. Then it's Montrez Harrell, and it's McDaniels in at the three. DiVincenzo finds Kaminga. Clock at six. Melton against DiVincenzo. Rebound by the 76ers. And here's Harden. Pass to House. It's McDaniels on the wing. Here's House. Now here's McDaniels. Here's House. Harold down low. Iguodala defending. Melton against Poole. Melton passes to Harold. Outside for Harden. 4-3. Yes. And it's Harrell with the assist. And the 76ers lead by 11. 
and they just didn't have enough to overcome this deficit. Chalk up this game as a fantastic victory for the Sixers. Offensively, they made the most of their trips. They found multiple ways to score consistently, and a little luck doesn't hurt them either. They also got some nice bounces off the rim tonight, too. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for James Harden. Well, I thought he was their catalyst tonight, guys. Moving the rock, actively looking to set other guys up. Outstanding work. And guys, that's got to be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback? Diminished. Harden against Poole. Outside Harden. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. Boy, a nice win on the road. By the time this one was winding down, this building was stone cold silent. And that's exactly what you got to do. You have to try to take the crowd out of it. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. 